Hey, what's going on, y'all? So welcome back to another Mesh to Meta Human tutorial. Now, if you check out the documentations for the Mesh to Meta Human that just came out recently, you're gonna see in here that if you need to manually fit details like ears or nostrils, you can repeat this process to promote additional frames. For example, a side profile and activate specific markers for those frames in a market outliner. So. When I first tried this, I kept crashing, but what I'm going to do is go ahead and show you how to do this so you can try it on your own, and then let me know in the comments below if you're successful in doing so. Because I've tried this like 10 times already and it keep crashing, I think, and I talked to a couple of YouTubers as well and they're having the same issues. All right, so I'm back in my project here and I'm gonna go ahead and process the first one that I did a couple of days ago, which is the WTF file. That is a scan head, so that's good. I'm gonna go ahead and minimize that and let's go ahead and create our MetaHuman. If you haven't seen the first part of this video, go ahead and put it in the upper right corner of this video so you can check it out first. Check that one out first before you go here because this might confuse you. Go ahead and click a MetaHuman Identity and we'll just name this WTF2. And I'll double click this. And then I'll kind of just go around. We'll add our mesh WTF in here. And as you can see, this is not really scared, skilled properly and whatnot. It's kind of lower, but it's okay. I'm going to zoom in here and we'll change this to unlit. Okay, and then we'll go to neutral posts and let's add a frame here to pretty much promote it. And what I'll do for this one is I'll go ahead and do an auto tracking. Okay, so it does a pretty good job. And then what I'll do is I will lock this camera now. So I'm going to be able to kind of move around and stuff. According to the documentations, we should be able to add more features here in the outliner on the right. So if I go now, let's go, this is the right side and this is the left side. Let's add some notes. So the naso labial is already checked off, which actually I had to Google this. The naso labial is right here. So what I want to add is the nostril. And I will click this. But as you can see, nothing happens, no mask show up. But what you actually have to do is scroll out. Scroll all the way out, and you're going to see those markers way up here. Okay, so click those markers now. Drag them down. Okay, and I'm going to zoom in now. So this is the nostril right, okay? So now what I'm going to do is mask that nostril on the right. And I'm going to make sure that this is, yeah, so this is right. And let's go ahead and kind of get it close there. And we're going to mask, and pretty much what we're going to do is just manually mask this nostril. Now it's crazy because some people were messaging me. It's like, man, I don't see it. What do you mean? What do you mean there's extra mask? You actually have to zoom out if you can't see it, just like I showed you. So I'm going to go ahead and kind of just mask this here, get the whole, yeah, her left nose is slightly bigger. Okay, and then what I'll do is I'll just activate that. So that's going to turn green, and I'll activate that as well. Now, if you go look in the left side here, for this frame zero, you're going to see in the details that I am going to be using this frame to solve it. Now, this is very important because once I promote more frames, you probably don't want to mark up the same exact markings or landmarks. So what I mean by that is if I go ahead and add another frame and say I go to a side view now, I don't want to be marking the same exact one that I just marked in this frame because that's going to screw up the solve. All right? So with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and add the eyebrows as well. Okay, and I'll go ahead and turn that as active and active. Okay, save this. Okay, so if you haven't done so, go ahead and check out my How to Make a Movie in Unreal Engine 5 Beginner's Edition. You don't need a mocap suit because it actually provides you the mocap animation in the project files. Thank you. All right, so what I'm going to do is go to my frame one now, and I'm going to lock this one because for this one, I'm actually going to turn on. Now, this is the right side of the face. I'm going to turn on all of my ears. Scroll up. It's going to be all up here. Bring it down. And then we can go from here. So I'm going to go ahead and start with my outer helix, which I actually looked it up on Google again. If you look at your ear right here, this is the helix and the inner and so on and so forth. See, I should have taken intro to geometry in high school. Would have learned all this. But hey, instead I took a intro to a, what is this, Word document or something? Because I was so lazy. So yeah, let's go ahead and do this here. So now we have the ears as well. 
Now for the inner, central, lower, and upper for the ear, I just follow the shape, but I tried Googling that part out. It's actually not real. So we'll see maybe later it'll show us where that's supposed to go. But I just kind of did it right here where it made sense for me, just following that shape. So I'll, I'll go ahead and turn all of it on for both sides because I actually have it here already, have it here, and now we have the frame zero to have it all as well, including the eyebrows and such. I'll save it, and now we gotta make sure all of that is used to solve and they're all unique. I only track the ears, the eyebrows, and everything else here. And now we can go ahead and click on MetaHuman Identity Solve. And there is the crash. Okay, so let me go ahead and try it again. And what I'll do is I'll just take it easy and won't add the ears and see if we can get that to work. This is the fun stuff. WTF, neutral pose, I'll add there. Auto tracking does a pretty good job. I will add the nostrils as well. Okay, so I added the nostrils here and the eyebrows. And as far as the eyebrows goes, I went ahead and just did a one-liner and followed the outline. Now, I'm going to save this and try to see if we can solve it like this without promoting any other frame. I'll delete this side view right now because I'm trying to troubleshoot this now to see if I can get this to work. All right, so let's go ahead and see if we can solve this or are we going to get a crash? Okay, so that one looks like it actually solved. So what I'll do is actually add another frame and I'm going to add the right ear. And what I'll do is I'll just do the, um, I'll do the outside one because maybe the inner one just doesn't work. So I'll lock this camera, frame zero, frame one, frame two. All right, I'm going to save this. And now I'll solve it again. Okay, so it looks like that took. And let's add, I'm just trying to get it to crash, to be honest. We got the ear. Got the low, oh yeah, let's just go the, oh, let's do the ear helix inner. And then for the frame one, Lock the camera here and do the right side of inner. So save. So we should have inner, inner. Okay. And then solve that. I'm going to try to figure out which one is breaking. So let's go ahead and choose a body. And then go with mesh and metahuman. Okay, so now it is ready in the MetaHuman Creator, and I'll go ahead and edit this. And the cool thing about this is we can compare it to my other MetaHuman right here, which I created with the same exact mesh. Let's go ahead and edit the selected. And what I can tell you right now is the head shape definitely looks a lot better. So let's go ahead and apply a skin real quick. Looks like there's a little bit of a, it looks like there's an error here as far as the, the skin goes. So yeah, there's just a little bit of leftover eyebrow on the left and right side. But I think this definitely looks, it is a lot similar to the other one I did. Well, that is everything I got for y'all today. I hope y'all learned something new. And again, mess around with it. This is extremely, extremely experimental with very little documentation. So again, play around and let me know what you think. And pretty much just let me know if you find better ways on how to do this. All right, if y'all have any questions, let me know. And like always, thanks for watching.